A term that is bandied around so much is this issue of innovation and to be innovative and doing things that are new and cutting edge and so on. Well, it's very hard to be innovative if you're not creative. If you look at all of these products and things, like I say, that we take for granted, starting with this you know, ubiquitous cell phone that sits there and everything that we do that underlies the systems that we deal with every day, the level of creativity associated with the development of these products is, is huge. It isn't just like there simply sits some kind of techno nerd or somebody who's putting some pieces together, but somebody else has really come up with some brilliant idea. When we talk about great engineers in history, you know, Da Vinci, from our perspective, is as much or more the engineer as that individual might have ever been the artist or the architect or whatever. Creativity, as far as I'm concerned, is not something that's held by any one discipline or profession. The reality is that it's very hard to be impactful in the world of engineering without really having that level of creativity. A lot of this is creating products that people never knew they had a demand for until, you know, the Sony Walkman didn't come up because they did a market survey. The, Sony Walkman. the Sony Walkman is a tiny stereo cassette player with truly incredible sound. Somebody is seeing things that other people aren't seeing, and then the question is how to move them. I mean, Let's give Steve Jobs all his credit for this tremendous amount of creativity and vision that he had, no doubt. Behind him, there was this whole army of individuals that really made this happen. Well, you had to be just as creative to make it happen as you were to come up with the original idea. Engineering is sort of behind the scenes, behind the surface, making sure that things do work. I mean, the little joke is that the trains run on time or things work. If you think about the things that we take for granted, I still enjoy and have a bit of wonderment when I see this huge aircraft with tremendous weight being lifted off so easily off of a piece of asphalt or tarmac and 8,000 miles later landing effortlessly and so on. And this is happening every five or 10 minutes around the world. Think about the things that we take for granted. We go in and plug into a socket and everything that's driven from that, the things that we have with us every day, the, the cell phone capabilities and other things. These things are not that easy to make happen. So I think maybe my, my uh, thought process here is that we shouldn't really take all of that for granted. Science, which is a big part of what we drive from in engineering, is really discovery of knowledge for the sake of discovery, which is really important. But the engineering piece is the conversion of those ideas into reality.